We're at the new Aston Martin uh, F1 team factory and we are putting the uh, time capsule that we've spent a lot of hard time building and getting ready to go in the hole for this big final event. So the partnership between JCB and Aston Martin F1 um, from JCB's perspective is just incredible. You know, it's another British company um, working together, uniting everything that's, you know, that's proud British engineering, using the, the partnership to be able to grow opportunities and, and grow both businesses. It's exactly how we wanted it to look at the end. Couldn't be any happier with it. our presentation for Martin Whitmarsh and Mark Crack and we're now on the way to see the capsule ready to be buried for over 50 years. I think it's a great idea. I mean, uh, in Bahrain, Tom and myself, we were discussing uh, should it be this or should it be that? And I think the right thing was to uh, let the fans decide and also to have fan articles inside because at the end of the day, we do this for the fans and we, we hope that we can keep them with us uh, and have successful moments for them. But it's very, very important that we have all these uh, memorabilia from them. I'm really impressed uh, when I see the, the detail, uh, how nicely it is made uh, with the names and also with the letterage. Very, very nice color. The shape is obviously, you immediately recognize what it, what it is about. And uh, I think congratulations to all of you. You have really done a very good job. Nice to see it. It's a wonderful thing to think about things in 50 years time, because it is that legacy that, that, you know, that, that's really important and you build on that. And, and of course, for the teams especially that are involved, it's this fabulous, unique opportunity to do something that I'm certain will be around in 50 years as well. And that's a fabulous thing. And I think now's the time to hand over to the JCB team to actually yep. get our time capsule into the ground. It's a really big opportunity for all of us, especially at our age, new to the business. Um, it was really exciting. Obviously, we've never built a time capsule before, so we had to do a lot of research into what materials make a good time capsule so that is why we went for stainless steel because it's a durable material that ensures that when we dig this back up it will hopefully resemble what we've planted today. Having the opportunity to drop the capsule into the ground especially using the Aston Martin F1 Lodor, um, great opportunity and I'm, I'm really happy it's gone really well today with the rest of the team. had a great day here today at Aston Martin. We come here to um, watch the time capsule being buried all sorts of things in the time capsule and just seeing how those guys had built that little capsule in the shape of the racing car that was uh, that was amazing